where a couple famous alum were there. Doug Flutie and 1985 Outland Trophy winner Mike Ruth had their numbers retired. And the rain was heavy. It would affect play 10 turnovers on the night. First quarter, Boston College punting. Oh. Keon Carpenter blocking. And the ball goes out of bounds. Virginia Tech's fifth block of the season so far, and they weren't done. Next play, the handoff to Chiron Stiff. And he gives it up. Boston College recovers. Two plays later, Scott Muchen rolls left, throws. That's a mistake. It's picked. Keon Carpenter. Six plays later, third string quarterback Nick Sorensen runs right, gets hit, and fumbles the ball. BC recovers three turnovers and a block punt on nine plays. Can anyone hold on to the ball? Later in the first, Muchen throws left, but... Pearson Prelu takes it back 85 yards for the touchdown. Virginia Tech takes a 7-0 lead. Third quarter, Boston College punting. And Andre Davis, yes, a block. VTech's sixth of the season. They lead the nation with 55 block kicks in the 90s. It led to a touchdown. Virginia Tech goes on to win 17-0. VTech 5-0. Five team in 23 years coming in, but... Still a long day for Frank Solich's Huskers. First quarter was scoreless. Third and 26 for the Aggies. Randy McCown to Chris Taylor. 81 yards for the touchdown. Longest passing play of the season for AM and one of just two completions for McCown. Aggies up 7 0. Third quarter, AM up 14 7. Bobby Newcomb. Uh, oops. Fumbles the football. Warwick Holdman recovers in the end zone for the AM TD. Aggies up 21 to 7. Same score. Nebraska fourth down at the AM 10. Shevin Wiggins on the reverse, stuffed by Jason Parker. The Aggies outrush Nebraska by more than 100 yards, giving them a taste of their own medicine. AM would score on the ensuing drive to make it 28 7. After a furious rally, Newcomb with threw for 204 yards, picked off by Cedric Curry on what would have been the game tying drive. One of two Huskers turnovers. The Aggies are failing good, and who can blame them? They pull off the shocking upset in Colorado. Second quarter, no score. K-State first and 10 at the 50. Michael Bishop looking long for Aaron Lockett. 44 yards down to the six. Lockett three catches, 76 yards. That led to a touchdown. Fourth quarter, Wildcats up 16-9. Colorado, one last chance. Now they're going to get the ball back. K-State punting on fourth down. Count them, 11 guys at the line. One guy back receiving the punt. You can't see. That's 12 on the field. That's too many, Rick. 12 men participating on the receiving team. It'll be a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, sufficient for a first down. Don't! New Hustles team blows its last opportunity, and K-State wins it, equaling a school record with its 13th straight win, 16 to Nashing yards. Arizona and UCLA, Pac-10 showdown, second quarter, Keith Smith, line. one of the two-headed quarterback monster for Arizona. Flips it long. Looking for Dennis Northcutt. Unbelievable grab. They scored a TD two plays later. Third quarter to Ortiz Jenkins, the other QB. Evading the blitz. Great grab. Jeremy McDaniel, seventh TD for him. He leads the Pac-10 28-24 zona. Rest of the game, though, belong to UCLA. Heisman hopeful Cade McDown threw for two touchdowns and ran for this one. 31-28 UCLA in the fourth. Again, it's McNown this time through the air. Looking for Danny Farmer, and he finds Danny Farmer. 64-yard touchdown, and the Bruins get 21 fourth quarter points as they pull away for the 52 to 28 win and it's for number seven georgia heated rivalry and you see it right here michael greer hit late by raynock thompson there is no place for that he was flying for a personal foul third quarter tennessee up nine three t martin scrambling 29 yards 15 carries 45 yards for him he's down inside the five balls would score a touchdown to go up 15 three next dogs possession the freshman quincy carter Looking deep, Carter, just 14 of 37 through two picks, including that one by Dwayne Goodrich, the Chicago area product. Takes it back to about 42. On the ensuing drive, it's Martin to Peerless Price. Martin, 16 of 26, 156 yards, the TD there. And Tennessee rolls. 22 to 3 is the final, their eighth straight victory over the Dogs, who have now showdown Florida and LSU. Steve Spurrier not liking what he was seeing early. Ed Chester. Leaving the game with a dislocated right knee in the first quarter. He's their top defensive lineman. Second quarter, it's Jesse Palmer, the quarterback, just awarded the job this week. He may be done for the season with a broken right clavicle. Doug Johnson, though, taking over for him. 
hitting Aaron Kenny for the 10 yard touchdown. Johnson 13 to 22, 156 yards. Florida up 13 to 10. Fourth quarter, Palmer watching on the sidelines. Little chicanery. Travis McGriff, who caught five passes for 125 yards, playing QB there, hitting Travis Taylor. After the lateral, only catch of the game for Taylor goes for a touchdown, and the Gators hand the Tigers their second straight defeat, avenging last year's loss to LSU with the 20. To battle the Illini and the two teams battling for the coveted Eli Buck Trophy. <laughs> it's a good looking trophy. Second quarter, Ohio State had 10 0. Second and 22 from the 30, it's Joe Germain. It's David Boston. It's a touchdown. Germain 17 to 28, 370 yards and three TDs. 17 0 Ohio State. And then true freshman quarterback Kurt Kittner coughs it up. It's Niall Diggs recovering 47 yards for the score. Ohio State. Cruises 41 zip. They rolled up 518 total yards to just 199 for the fighting Illini. Illinois just 43 rushing yards in 25 attempts. Florida State looking to make it four straight wins against Miami. First play from scrimmage after Miami won the toss, deferred, and recovered an onside kick. Oh boy. Santana Moss wide open, but he drops the pass from Scott Cummington. Still first quarter with scoreless. Knowles driving on their own 38. Chris Winky, Peter Warwick. Unbelievable grab. Winky 17 to 32, 316 yards and two TDs, including that one for 62 yards. 7 0 Knowles. Miami trying to keep it close. Fourth down on the FSU 9. Daniel Franks, Covington and Thos through for 165 yards. We're tied at seven. Second half, FSU up 17 7. Winky, Warwick, another beautiful grab. Sets up a three yard William McCray TD run. Warwick. Seven catches, 190 yards. The Knolls do indeed get their fourth straight win in the series. Toilers, Barry Alvarez, looking to keep his team undefeated. It's a homecoming game, first ever night homecoming game in Madison. Second quarter, Boilers down 17 to six. Drew Brees, scrambling, yeah. still scrambling. Eventually finds Gabe Cox for the first down. Brees, 55 of 83 for 494 yards. More on that in a moment. The Boilers would score on that drive. This was Brees' downfall, though. The pick he threw four of them Jamar Fletcher there 52 yards for the touchdown the game was tied at 17 at that point but on 31 24 Indiana Spartans trying to answer because if they didn't that would be so first semester Bill Burke on the back of the end zone to Plaxico Burris yes indeedy he did get his foot down ties the game at 31 we're going to double OT in double OT Michigan State with the ball first on the first play Cedric Urban running right running through running left Spinning, running, chug a lug. All the way in, touchdown. 38 31, Michigan State up. Last chance for Indiana, fourth and 12 in the 27. Jay Rogers to Tyrone Browning. Oh, Browning nailed by Lamar Marshall. Nick Saban and Michigan State celebrate. Irvin kneels down and thanks. The Spartans win 38 31 in double overtime. Hoosier Redshirt freshman QB Antoine Randall L ran for 134 and passed for 147 in the losing effort. More top 25 action. Number 17, West Virginia at Temple. The Mountaineers without the service of Heisman hopeful Amos Zaraway out with a bruised thigh. Would they need him? In a word, no. Third quarter, it's Mark Bolger. It's David Saunders who missed all of last year with an injury. One of three TD passes for Bolger through for 257. West Virginia wins at 37-7. Arkansas and Memphis. Third quarter, Razorbacks up 13-3. Clint Sterner. On a third and 17 to Michael Williams, 52 yards. Sterner threw for 296 on the day. Arkansas wins at 23-9. They are 5-0. Cal invading 20th ranked USC's home turf. USC up 24-10. RJ Sauer. He fields on the bounce. He's weaving and he's going. 80 yards on the punt return. Sauer also caught four passes for 105 yards. Second TD of the game. USC up 31-10. Game over. Right? Wrong. Back come the Bears. Fourth quarter. Marcus Fields from three yards out. Cal goes on top and they win it. 32 to 31. Couple more scores for you. 23rd ranked in. Let's take you there. Third quarter. Kentucky up three. Couch finding Gary Davis in the back of the end zone. Kentucky up 24-14. Fourth quarter now. Scary moment here. South Carolina defensive end. John Abraham gets hit between the shoulder blades by Jason Watts. They had a 10-minute delay. Abraham carted off, taken to the hospital for x-rays. Happy to report that Abraham had movement in all his extremities. He is being kept overnight for observation. Later, couch to Kevin Coleman. Clear sailing ahead and Kentucky. 
beats those game Cox 33 28 was the final couch finished 29 to 42 three Dallas Cowboys Greg Ellis in the house trying to check out the guy and here he goes turning the corner Williams takes it in from 20 yards out with that one Williams passes Herschel Walker for third on the NCAA all-time list fourth quarter Texas up by a bunch Williams caps it off little 10 yard touchdown run he needs eight points for the all-time scoring lead. Texas wins 34-3. ASU a blue and gold. First quarter, Irish have it. Third and gold, Jarris Jackson. Throwing seven yards to Malcolm Johnson. Nice grab, 7-0. ND. Second quarter, Ryan Keeley. Picked off by Johnny Sanders, who takes it back 25 yards for the touchdown. 14-0 Irish. ASU committed four turnovers in this one. Can't do that. Win.